Right, day 17, we still have... We still have the heat wave, and there's a group, but it's not survivors. Faithful finances. A string of people approaches the colony, each wearing intricate robes with splashes of gold and green on them. They are carrying massive decorated umbrellas so that not a single ray of sun can touch them. The man at the front, wearing a golden scarf around his eyes, speaks to you. Children, would you aid us in our holy mission? It is not long before Helios steps down to the earth and we must be ready to appease his blazing wrath. Please, assist our preparations for his arrival. Uh, what is that? Now, we could trade with them. Yes, we trade with them. And we do have enough plastic and we get 19, well, parts. That is important. Very good. Once the trade is complete, the followers pull strings on their umbrellas and reveal hundreds of mirrors attached to their tops. They begin to swirl around their leader, reflecting the sunlight onto the ground around them in an almost beautiful dance. Blessed, blessed are we on this day. Let us pray for darkness, for anything is better than his eternal fire, the leader declares. Alright. That was a new event too. That was interesting. I mean, they could work for us, you know. We could put some power panels on their backs and they're running around then all day, producing energy for us. Bartering is complete. Very good. That is an important one. And with that, we can also unlock the motorization. We can then find, finally, cars on the map. And, you know, restore these cars and then use them for faster scouts. Let's do that. Oh, how expensive was that? 75, that's fine. Even though I don't want to waste my research points there too much. My specialist is also ready. So he's over here. Let's get up here. And, oh, there we found the first settlement. The first outside settlement, Sage Fort. And they have some traits and let's see. Renowned for their utmost neutrality, the society lures in those who blame extremism for everything that went wrong. Their combat medics are rumored to heal both their own troops and those of their foes. They are willing to trade with you but also with your enemies. And now that is also a new feature here so we do have the reputation now. We can increase our reputation with them, open up trade, get probably some missions then as well. Who knows? Finally, we do have that and we can now also build the trade center. There it is. And we can then actually already start trading with them. So let's have the trade center here. I think that's a good location here because we do have the stockpiles here as well. It makes sense. And the heat wave is gone too. And... Look at the ta the trapper here. I love the building. It really has detailed textures here. That wasn't the case like two months ago. They're improving on so many levels. And now the heat wave is gone. Let's select the corn. Oh. They're doing it automatically. Very good. Planting. And there the trade center is coming up already. I don't know what he's doing here. Food is fine, water is fine, we also have full water tanks there. And there's the trade center. It does actually need a workforce. Alright, let's put the medical tent to idle. And now we could then start trading right now. I think we don't have any... Oh, yes, Sage Fort. We can trade with them. Distance is 2 days and 6 hours. Trade. Let's see what we can trade here for. Oh, this also changed here. They do have a car, a sedan, and no components. I would love components. And oh, seed is also interesting. Wheat. Let's get the wheat. And I give them. I do have some clothes. I just don't know what this means here now. Oh, okay, it's purchasing, right? The, oh, the seed costs me 400 shilling or whatever that is. A sedan costs me 1,400. I actually want the wheat. 440. Let's see how much we have to trade for that. Let's see, it's 10 cloves. And can I trade more things? Oh, 
Okay, we still owe them 265, I think that means. Right, what else do we have? Fiber. We have lots of fiber. Oh boy, that's... I, I think that's just way too expensive here, the whole thing that we're doing there. We have lots of metal, but she doesn't want anything. No, let's cancel this one. So they don't... they have seeds, that's important to know. It's definitely a bit better now, um, but it's not worth trading so much for it, for a bit of uh, wheat there. We do have potato and corn right now, and that's working fine. So no problem there. My specialist is getting ready again, and a new day is dawning. Beautiful. Brooklyn is also now an adult. So we got another adult there for children, for carriers, and research-wise... Oh, we're still researching the cars. Let's see. Let's continue. There's definitely outlaws there. Let's go for this. Yep, there we have them. And, oh, they're way too strong for my Entwurf. So we're actually on our way back now with Entwurf to Sleepy Hollow. He's got some medications there for him, uh, with him. And then we can continue on the other side. And that's important. We've, I think, completely depleted this side here. Yeah. So there's still something here and still something here. Concrete planks. And of course, we have a second stockpile too. And we could say, get us the concrete over there. So the carriers are doing that then. If they have some time, that is. And motorization is completed now. Very good. We could also continue with the reinforced gate, but I actually want to go with communal living. So that, that we can finally upgrade now the buildings then of the houses. That's going to be important. And then actually there's some new things here. Pavement, paved roads. That's interesting. Education, the schools, very important for the children. That's something. And the specialist is also ready to go. Yeah. Let's go down here. Plastic and medicine. And then we can continue here, which is much closer, you know. Saving a bit of time there. Oh, and there is a commotion in the camp. Uneven ground. Suddenly muffled cries for help are coming from one of the shelters. You rush in to look what is going on there. Instead of a colonist, you find a large hole in the middle of the floor. The shelter was apparently built on top of a small sinkhole, which gave in and swallowed one of the inhabitants. A makeshift ladder should help getting the colonists out. Yes. You order a nearby colonist to fetch planks from the stockpile. Together, you fashion a set of crude but functional ladders to lower down the sinkhole. The fallen colonist climbs up rattled, but otherwise unscathed. The hole is filled and carefully covered to prevent any future surprises. And this gives me actually four happiness. Oh, and the lumberyard also doesn't have any wood anymore. So we have more here though. Look at that, more building space. That's the important thing. And only two more plastic here, then this one is depleted. That's also good. And it's probably opening up, but I can see another deposit. Underground deposit then. Right, now the specialist is ready. Let's have a look. And Wolf. So that's one more turn for him. Then he's finally here. And he can also, of course, then rest and replenish his health there. That's important. Two deposits are depleted and here underground plastics yeah that is then another advanced building that we need to put on top of that also i think the recycler yeah, needs something new here plastic and communal living is completed i think we don't have any science points left oh there we have no weatherproof seams repair cost for tents minus three yeah i mean Oh, roof support. Yes, let's go roof support. We can afford that. More durability. That's better then. 
communal living. And I think, can we now do something there? Upgrade them. We now have the shanty. So an improved shelter that gives some protection against radiation is not destroyed as easily as tents. And the tenement, a cost-effective form of housing for several colonists, some protection against radiation and catastrophes. Colonists are less likely to reproduce in cramped shelters like this. Oh no, we don't want that. We want our colonists to reproduce. Now, this one here is much better. Only houses three though. The problem is, what I can see here is, look at that. We cannot just place them on top of this. They are much bigger. You know, so we do need to have kind of like an own settlement just for those guys. So let's have that over here. There we can have some more people. And I know there's a school then and a movie theater. And we can place the, these things then here. Close to the gate, you know. So there we have kind of like our central. And here we then have these new buildings. And that is the shanty. This one here. Let's build two for now. Very good. And then we can also remove those tents here later and build them over it, you know. But that's going to take a bit of time there. Now, finally, Endwurf has arrived again. He's now in Sleepy Hollow. He can replenish a bit. I think he's walking around here then somewhere. Our specialist. And roof support is also completed now, but we do need more science points. Oh, actually, we can just get some currency if we want to. Let's do that. Trade center. Let's open the trade. And let's sell them something. And with that, we can earn some money. I thought you can only trade directly, but I think they changed it. And since we have so much metal, let's sell some metal. Um, plastic. Cabbage. Fiber. Let's sell some fiber. We have lots of fiber. Some clothing. Six of them, I think. Right, some junk. Oh, they love junk, it seems. That's 600 for now. And... I think that's it for now. Yeah, let's sell. 600. I think it's taking a bit of time now. Yeah, two days and six hours. And there's my specialist. He's not looking like the one on the picture. And there we have the shanties. And oh my goodness, it is... Look at that. An old vehicle, an old car. Looks much better, of course, than the tents here. Has some solid walls, at least. And a swimming pool. That's fine. Oh, and a group of survivors. It's good to see people still sticking together. That's happening all across the country. We get a new specialist, finally. Sang, a scavenger. Freed from the prejudices of the world, he now enjoys the kind of respect which he always dreamed of. In this world, merit carries infinitely more weight than any other factor. He's acutely aware of his self-worth as trader and negotiator and isn't willing to budge on any type of deal. And he's really good with scavenging. We also get some resources here, one child and two adults. That's a good deal. One of them is infected, no problem. And we now have two specialists. That's That makes the whole thing so much more interesting. Because also faster. Oh, what is that? Decaying house. There are worms in there. Buffalo worms. Please don't tell me that that is food. I hope not. Right, so shanty. We got them. Um, Let's see. I would also... I have a few more of them. Down here. I was wondering now, where the hell am I? Right, one more here. And let's get rid of those two buildings here and have shanties here instead. Also these ones here, I don't need them anymore. And Sakari is still infected. All right. 
right, and let's have another shelter here. So we can squeeze it in. And also on the other side. Also specialists now, two specialists, that's so cool. Let's continue. Let's not get the worms there. Alright, uh, come on. Insects, crickets. <laughs> that's not something that I want to scavenge. Right, we can finally use the building uh, materials that we collected all the time. I think we still have... Yep, planks over here. We can take them. And how long is he infected? Come on. It's a curry. There, the next one. The shanty is coming up. And also this one here. And, oh, what I can see is that we do have the dirt road here. No, it's fine. It's fine. Let's keep it like that. And I think... Oh, yeah, we have started a trade. Okay, this it isn't as clear as I would wish uh, for it. So, the trade is on its way. I think we can... We should be able to see it. There we can see it. That there's a trade going on. The next shanty is also completed. I think that's enough for now. And we could probably... Yeah, get rid of those two tents there. Alright. What is going on with him though? Oh, he's still replenishing, okay. Right, and then we can have another shanty now. Okay. That's strange. I'm pretty sure that it fits in there. Specialist is ready. Sang, let's get up here. And motorization, I wonder what do we need for that? Do we need to build something? Eh, yeah, we do need to build a garage, of course. Let's build the garage. There it is. Oh, the garage does consume energy. So the problem with that is um, we don't have any energy for now. I'm still going to build it. Because I think um, it probably still unlocks the bonus that we get with that. And that is finding vehicles. So let's have the garage and we can have it down here. Right, just where the gate is. So here and then they can the cars kind of like can just get outside there. That's 6 metal, 16 metal, 10 concrete. Oh, concrete is going down though. We need to be careful there. Five carriers should do the job though. Food is looking fine, water is looking fine. So what I like more here with the water is that water production is much easier than in end zone. In end zone it's just too difficult. You have to spam so much. In this one here... It's easy. You don't really care about food and water. Most of the time, anyway. Alright, so that's also been over here now. Work areas there. And I think specialists will be ready then. Day 20. And what? We do have a power shortage. Oh, right, because of the garage. We finally finished the garage now. We do need a vehicle now, though. You know, without that, we cannot do anything any anyway. And, yeah, we do need energy. Energy, we do need components. Let's hope we can find them. Nope, that is a... Destroyed downtown for some medicine. Even if they're not that good, the cars, we still want to use them. Obviously, they're also pretty cool. Repairing a sedan and then driving around with that. 
And I just still, I'm still wondering why I can't build a shanty here. I thought it would be possible. Alright, then we find something else. For this place here. Not for now. But later. Perhaps a smaller park. We could have a smaller park there then. We do have a few ornaments here already. Pathfire stature. Something like that. And electricity, wind turbine. Yeah, we do need components. We don't have them. Soon he's fully healed as well. And Wolf, I'm missing him. Very good. Specialist. Oh, and then Wolf is now ready to... Oh, very good, a museum. And a manufactory with some tools. We do have enough tools though. Looking for cars and stuff like that. That might be something. Some light rain is coming in and as we can see, power is a problem. And I don't think that I could trade it now. Okay, and we also need to move the work area, and this time we move it far away, actually, unfortunately. Over here we have planks and concrete, concrete, large concrete. That's what we want. Alright, trade convoy has arrived. And with that, we get 622, I just call it Groshen, or silver coins, that is, silver coins. That's good, so we improved our reputation, hopefully, a bit with her, and we could continue trading. Does she have something? Nah, she's not really got anything useful there, so we could still trade something like metal. Got too much of that anyway, plastic, we have way too much of plastic, 60 plastic, it's fine. It's a bit of money there chunk just a bit yeah perhaps two medicine there that's 500 more let's confirm the trade and there is a wandering merchant a lone van rattles towards the gate <laughs> holy look at him Suspension creaking under the heavy load. Greetings and salutations, my good people, shouts the driver. Can I interest you find gents and ladies with a bit of bartering on the loveliest of days? 10 planks for 133 research points. Absolutely. Thank you. And off he goes. That was a good trade. So we can continue with a bit more researching here and I think in this case education is important so with that we can finally have the school and with that we can then teach our children so they will become much more effective than once they are adults and day 21 is coming to an end